what's up guys welcome back to my channel um so uh also um first of all let me just say this um i have a q a video um basically in one week i'm gonna be answering your guys questions um so leave anything any questions you have down on that video um i'll leave the link in the description um so today, um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Um, I guess I'll do a cube collection video. Um, my my uh, collection has expanded quite a bit um, since early 2020. Um, so I guess um, this is my cube collection mid 2020, and then I'll do one end 2020. So um, I have actually quite a few um i'm just laying them out right now so let me oh god okay that's all oopsie okay anyway um so that's all my cubes um so i'm gonna start with um my names and um and just go on to the others um so Actually, uh, this is my 3x3 three three main. It is the YJ Yulong V2M. Um, it's a magnetic budget cube I got from the cubicle.us. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get this on Amazon too. Um, cause, um, you know, I understand some people don't really trust, um, these kind of websites about cubes. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon around like 15 bucks um usd so it's um pretty good um but on like the cubicle um it was six bucks so this is um uh, my current two by three main it's pretty fast actually um it doesn't actually um pop that much um i kind of just got one of the caps off um but it is um pretty fast there is that magnet connection that you can feel. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on the light setting. Um, it does come lube. Um, so it's it's a very good cube. Um, the inner structure, um, it's kind of a, a speed cube design. Um, but the one different thing is that um, on my old 3x3, uh, this was actually connected to each one of the corners, split in three pieces. This one's actually just its own piece. Um, if I can get this off. Oh my gosh, okay. Here, let me see. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so, um, as you can see, the piece doesn't come off with this. It just, you know, comes off. And then... This is its own piece, this um, white thing. Uh, so that's the corner, and then the edge is pretty much basic design. Um, two pieces, you know, it's a good old stuff. Um, let me put this back together. Uh, okay. I don't really usually um. I mean, uh, on my old cube, I did kind of make a mod, but YouTube wasn't uploading it, so, eh, stuff happened, but, um, it's a pretty basic design, honestly, and, oh my gosh, okay, um, but, enough about that, um, it is my main, pretty good, I'd say, for a budget cube, uh, so, my main two by two um it's actually a long story so i was disassembling it um and trying to assemble it again um but i wanted to do like a magnetic relay without the core um because my three by three does set up magnetically um actually i'll i'll show you guys that at the end of the video um so i tried to do it with my two by two um, but there's actually a pretty weird design. All of, some of the inner core pieces are not the same as the others. So that kind of created, like, lockups. And, um, uh, so it was all confusing. And by the time I did figure out how it worked, uh, a corner piece broke. 
So, currently it's a work in progress. This is what I have from it. Um, I mean, it does corn twist, um, easily. Um, but there was some weird mechanism where it kind of just locks up because some pieces have, like, I don't know how to explain, basically. Um, but yeah. This goofed, and, uh, oops, it broke. Um, I tried super gluing it, but it just fell back apart, um, while just putting it together. So, this is probably a work in progress. I might get a new one. Um, but that was my 2x2 two two main. It's, it's very good. It's not, like, a bad cube or anything. I just wasn't being very careful handling it, and, um, yeah. So, um, let's move on. So, those were my mains. Um, I don't really have a main. I mean, this is my current main 4x4. Four four. Um, it's just a chi, uh, 4x4. Four four. I'm pretty sure it's, um, it's, it's just, uh, stickerless, not magnetic or anything. Um, uh, corner cutting, not the best. I mean... Eh, no, barely. I mean, eh, no. Um, but, I still use it. I mean, it's it's not, like, very bad or anything, but, um, eh, it's not the best. But, uh, it is my main currently. Um, I wouldn't recommend this if you're looking for, like, uh, an upgrade from your normal 4x4. It's not really much. Um, I just wanted to get a normal, just, like, a random, like, normal cube, so I got this. Anyway, moving on, um, I'm not actually sure, is Pyraminx a WCA event? Um, obviously I'm not going to WCA because of the pandemic, but, like, I don't know if it is, but, um, I do, I do Pyraminx as well, and, um, I have two, actually. Um, I have a Jello and a normal, and in fact, actually, um, I have um, some others as well in the other cubes, not like pyramids. Uh, but this is my main sticker list. I don't really like Jello as much as sticker list. I mean, it's not very like um, it's kind of transparent. That just hurts my eyes, honestly. Um. So, I don't really like it, um, being jello, um, but, I mean, it's not the worst either, um, but, uh, those are my permixes, um, I will try to leave the link to all the cubes in the description, um, some are from the cubicle, some are from Amazon, um, so the ones from Amazon I'll put in the description, the ones from the cubicle you can look at my unboxing video, I'll leave the link to that as well. Um, uh, that um, it's a pretty good video. You should check it out. Um, it was a fun unboxing to do. Um, but anyway, um, moving on to um, my other cubes, non-mains. Um, well, let's just start off with my gel cubes. So I have the gel 2x2. Two um, the Jell-O 3x3, and the Jell-O Pyraminx. They came in a set, actually, and, uh, in fact, they're not actually mine, they're my sister's. Um, we share this collection, but, like, they're still hers. Um, so, anyway, um, I mean, I lube the Jell-O 3x3, and it's, like, such a weird feeling. Because it was already kind of, like, loose and stuff. I loosened it, and now I just put lube in it. So it's just, like, you know. Anyway, um, if you guys are wondering, um, where was my old main 3x3? Three three? Where is it now? Um, actually, what happened was, it's a long story, um, but I think it fell. Uh, my friend accidentally picked it up. And, uh, yeah, now we just have to sanitize it. We haven't done that yet, surprisingly. I don't know why. We've had a lot of stuff to do. Um, but, uh, it is, one corner piece is broken. I don't know if I'll get a new one. I mean, it's not the best cube. Um, but I might get a, like, single corner piece, try to find one. If you guys have any, um, ones, uh, leave it in the comments if comments are turned on by YouTube. 
Um, but um, I would love to see some of the suggestions of where to get corner pieces for it cubes. Um, okay, so moving on, um, this is the official Rubik's brand. So I actually lubed it just like a few weeks ago. And um, then when like earlier when we first got it, um, we put like some Vaseline in it. But that wasn't good enough, so now I got some lube. And as you can see, it's actually very fast now. Very smooth. Um, so definitely put some lube in your Rubik's Cube um, brand. Um, it's, it's very good. I used this lube I got. More info on the unboxing video. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I mean, not much about it. It's a Rubik's brand that I lubed and put Vaseline in over the course of a pretty long time. Now, um, let's see what else. So I'm gonna do my keychain cubes and mini cubes. So I have quite a few, actually I have four. So I have a mini keychain sandwich barrel cube. Um, if you didn't already know, barrel cubes, um, kind of like, it looks kind of weird when you scramble it cause like the, Corners turn and stuff, and it's just all goofy. Um, but um, if you already didn't know, if your um, center pieces are kind of like popping out, that's because they're turned 90 degrees um, while you're solving it. Sometimes that does happen. You just have to um, orient them correctly while solving it, and um, it should be back to normal, and they won't pop out. It'll just be a smooth touch. Um, this actually took me a while to solve normally. Uh, I'm not too long, but it took me a while to catch on. That's what happened to it. Um, then my uh, Z Cube Mini 2x2. Not the best. Um, I mean, um, I did see a couple reviews about this. Um, and I guess, um, I mean, it's not the best Mini 2x2, but it's pretty fun to use. Um, and, um,. By the way, um, these two cubes did come with keychains. Um, I'm still looking for them. Um, I had them at first. Um, my sister kind of just got addicted to them, and she's just, like, moving them around with her everywhere and throwing them around. I don't know. I'm still looking for them. But, uh, work in progress, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Many of those. Uh, then my Christmas tree cube. This is kind of a shape-shifting puzzle, but it's not. Um, but, like, the shape does kind of shift. It's kind of weird. Um, like, when you're scrambling it, it's not, like, very hard. It's not very easy to scramble, because it's not, like, really a hard position you can put it in. But you can, like, turn it. Um, and it's kind of weird, you know? Um, um, but I mean, it's just a normal... Christmas tree, one by two by three. Um, so, that is those. Uh, now I also have my mini two by three. Uh, that, um, I got this from a fidget pack. I think I have the link on my about page. Um, it's from Amazon. Um, I still have to change my about page. I don't think I'm going to be putting my links, because, like, I mean, I have a lot of things, but, um, by the time I ended up typing the last sentence, it just, um, didn't let me type anything else, because I think that's a, it's as long as your about page can get. So, yeah. Um, anyway, mini C by 3, um, just normal, I guess. Um, it's not a keychain, but, like, I mean, it didn't come with a keychain or anything, but it is a mini. Okay. Uh, now I have this 1x2x3. Um, more info, again, on my unboxing video. I also have a tutorial on my channel. Um, so, I, it is a shape-shifting puzzle, as you can see. Um, not very hard to solve, actually. I thought it would be hard, but it's not that hard. Mostly just intuitively. Um, so, yeah. Um... That's pretty much it. Um, it's, it's the, um, it's just the 1x2x3. Um, also, I'm not really giving the names. 
Um, I'll put the names in the description. Yes. As I'm putting the links to them. Or I don't even know what my description is going to look like. Oh, whatever. Um, now, my, um, old main 2x2. It's actually pretty fun. I mean, it's not, like, very bad. But the only problem is corner cutting and corner twisting. Um, but the other, it's pretty fun to play with. It's pretty, um, loose. I loosened it up. And, I mean, it's, it's pretty fun to use. So, um, old main 2x2. Uh, moving on. Uh, I guess, um, I can put in my Killinx. So, I got a Killinx off of Amazon. Um, I, I like stickerless better than non-stickerless because, I don't know, I don't like when they're, like, stickers and they peel off and stuff. Um, so, I got this Killinx, um, that was, uh, stickerless. So, I mean, it's just a normal Killinx, I guess. It's, um, um, I forgot what it's called. Puber Speed, I think. Killinx. Um, once again, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, now. Moving on. Um, I'm not sure if this is a Rubik's Cube. But, uh, here is a, uh, Cube Spinner. I guess. Why not? Uh, then, um, a Lego Rubik's Cube 1 by 2 by oh my god. Let, let's try that again, you know what? Alright, so, uh, this is a Lego 1 by, uh, 2, 1 by 1 by 2 that I made. I'm not sure why it's doing that. It used to be a good mechanism, um, but, uh, not much about it, actually. It's kind of loose, and it's breaking for some reason. I don't know why. Um, oh, I think I just fixed it. One of the pieces. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Anyway, um, moving on. Um, I'm not really sure what I have left. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. So let's do the magnetic 3x3 assembly. Um, I'm going to try to make it into like some sort of a stop motion, I guess. Um, but here we go. Let's do it. Okay, I just realized I just messed that up. Let's, let, let's try that again, okay? Okay, um, I don't know if that worked out really well, but as you can see, it does hold together. Um, I mean, it's not, like, the fastest thing, I mean, if you try to, like, mm, yeah. I mean, I just did, like, 50 U2s at once, and, you know, I mean, it's not gonna stay together, um, for all that pressure. Um, but you have to tell me, that was satisfying. But, uh, anyway... That was my cube collection. Also, did I forget the stands? I think I forgot the stands. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, also, I will, I will assemble the C3, don't worry. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. This is a mess. Uh... Make sure to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Good boy!